One way you can multiply two two-digit numbers is that if one of them is a multiple of 10, that's the key word here. They've got to be a multiple of 10. So that means if one of your two-digit numbers is 10 or 20, 30, 40, right, 50, okay, all the way up to 90. If one of your two-digit numbers is a multiple of 10, then you can use this method. And in this particular problem, we are looking at 20, which is a multiple of 10. We're going to multiply 26 times 20. And for this first of the two methods, you can use base 10 blocks, or you can use grid paper to draw some precise models, or you can just use any paper and do the best you can to draw a decent enough model so that you can see what's happening. Um, and since we could pretend that we're using base 10 blocks, we can draw a 10 by 10 square to get things started. And if we're showing the first factor of 26, I'm going to use two 100 blocks to show the 10 and the 20. And then I would need to put down six 10 blocks to show the 26. So it's 10, 26 going this way. Now I need to have 20 coming down. And all we would have to do is add two more 100 blocks and six more 10 blocks, and that gives us 26 by 20. And again, you could just roughly sketch out a big square and label it 20 by 20, and ruffle out a smaller rectangle and label it 6 by 20. That works too. Once you have built your array, we really have two shapes, the 20 by 20, the 6 by 20. What we're going to do then is find the two partial products. 20 times 20, well 2 times 2 is 4, plus the two zeros gives you 400, remember that lesson? And 6 times 20, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 zero gives you 120. So our two partial products are 400 and 120. And again, with partial products, to find the total product, we want to add... Hey, where'd that lightsaber come from? Oh well. We want to add our two partial products together. And that gives us our final product. We add the ones, we got zero, we added the tens and got two, we added the hundreds and got five. So our final answer is 520. 26 times 20 using multiples of 10, the answer is 520.